last four weeks. Meanwhile, I took my family uh, for a vacation for like two days, literally. We went to New York on an event, like a family event. I was surprised to see the flights are really full. The airport is completely full. They are serving food on the airplane. So I think it is slightly coming back to normal. It is taking some time. I traveled almost after 18 months on a flight. Anyway, so I came back here. So there is something mysterious going on. So if you look this side, actually right here, uh, later part of tonight, if there is a possibility, I will actually show you guys live. There is a Nova uh, in Cassiopeia constellation. Cassiopeia is a W-shaped constellation. There are several deep space objects in that constellation. There is a star cluster. They have a bubble nebula. And then they, re they have this crab nebula, right? So that star cluster, right below that, there are like a bunch of stars in a line. And towards the right, there is a new star now. That star was never there before. Actually, it's not really a new star. It is a star that got bright. So there is a difference between like a nova and a supernova. So supernova is like when the star explodes, it creates that giant explosion. That's called supernova. Whereas novas are very different. Nova is, uh, at least for the nova to happen, you need two stars. You need a big giant star and you need a, like a smaller white dwarf star, which is high dense, densely packed, lot of gravity, lot more gravity and dense than the bigger star, right? And this is a binary star system. So when the smaller star, the white dwarf, gets closer and starts pulling the material from the big star, the white dwarf will have a disk around it. And over a period of time, the disk and the material in the disk falls onto the white dwarf itself. And when it falls there, it is going to create a huge explosion, almost like a nuclear explosion. They call it thermonuclear explosion. And that causes the surface of the star to get a lot brighter, almost like a maximum of 12 times brighter than the normal star. So if it gets really bright, you should be able to see that without any telescope. And this particular nova, really got bright. It got up to like Mag 5.5, somewhere between Mag 5.5 and Mag 8. And uh, actually it's right here coming up. It's going to be very low on the north side, the Cassiopeia. So I may have to actually move the telescope maybe a little that side so that I uh, don't want to get stuck by the tree lane here. Over a period of the time in the night time, I think it raises up a little. But until like midnight or two o'clock, it's not going to rise a whole lot. So it's better to like, you know, stay away from any obstruction towards the north side, right? I'm actually planning to use the Rasa. And if you notice, uh, there is a camera here. This is new camera. I bought it uh, from QHY CCD. This is a color camera. So they gave me a monochrome and I got hooked to it. I really like that monochrome. The way it is taking pictures and the quality is really good when I was testing it. I thought maybe I should actually try replacing my color camera with this one. So I have a ZWO 071 for the last two years. So this one inside the chip is still 071, but the camera is new and the technology is new. So when I got the QHY CCD camera, like the other camera that I was playing with the monochrome, this one, I couldn't understand the adapters at all. But finally I figured out 
that it needs a M54 to M42 adapter and the filter slider that I use for the Star Arizona, I need to replace one of the plates on that one. So it has like the male 42, I need to convert that and then the whole thing is working. Between the Star, the Star Arizona filter slider and the Celestron adapter, I have a standard 16.5 mm. So with that, I'm going to have a total 55 mm back focus that I need for this one. So if you are interested, let me know. I can put these uh, specs exactly that you need. I'll leave it in the description as well for you to like literally get to this one. Coming in the night time, outside just before or just after the sunset, uh, look on the west side, you will see actually a crescent moon and Venus there. I think it will be there for the next couple of days if you are interested. It is called Nova 1405 CAS for Cassiopeia, I believe. If you are interested in these videos, uh, press the subscribe button and also click on that notifications so you can actually watch these videos if you are interested. Thanks for watching.